Some people say we only have 50 harvests left, right, before the soil is, is depleted. Now, obviously, that's if we continue on this path. But I think this is really important for the audience to understand how perilous this has become, not because we're using animals to graze the land and to upcycle nutrients, but because we're monocropping and we're using a copious amounts of pesticides to the point where we don't even know how much glyphosate we're using anymore. We've stopped calculating it. So can you speak to that soil erosion and how many harvests you foresee left on earth if we don't change our ways? Two weeks ago, we had a huge windstorm come across the Midwest. I don't know if you saw it on the weather, but in that windstorm, in, in my ranch here, it was dust, just pure. Where did that come from? That was the topsoil from some of the, the Great Plains states that plow their fields yearly. That it was just carried away and that ends up in rivers and and and, 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 and in the bottom of the ocean right. over time. One thing I like to tell people is Region Ag is about cycling nutrients in the places where it does humans, plants, and all animals the most good. And monocrop ag exports nutrients yearly like it's it's literally getting blown away or washed down the river mm -hmm. and, at, and at the, those nutrients cycling at the bottom of the ocean don't do us any good <laughs> right it really doesn't and so i think if we can really use these concepts of regen ag you know again improve that nutrient cycle as we know all the plant the the fruits that we grow or the vegetables we grow are far less nutrient dense than they used to be 50 years ago 60 years ago that continues so you've got to eat more of that to have more health and the same thing with cattle cattle grazing on um you know non-biodiverse pastures they're not cycling those nutrients we are um we are what we eat but we are what we eat eats <laughs> that's a and you think of these same bureaucracies uh these are the same bureaucracies that formulated our food pyramid mind you in general <laughs> yes. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm sure yeah, you what, got a lot happened since 1980, right? I mean, <laughs> you know, we went from, you know, a more animal based diet to a high carb, low fat. So you got to cut animal fats. Well, what replaced those fats? It was seed oils and that skyrocketed. But what else has, has gone to hell? It's our health. I mean, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, obesity. I mean, 70, almost 75 percent of Americans are overweight. Like these things skyrocketed since the 80s. So we can't, you know, how can we blame animal or animal fats on something that, you know, wasn't, wasn't the culprit.